What's going on? You already know who it is. Just Shayla. And we back with another. <laughs> 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 he got that head on like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You already know who it is. Just Shayla. And I'm back with another reaction. This reaction? Yeah. What are we reacting to? Oh, this ain't no reaction. <laughs> <laughs> well, we back with another topic. Yeah, so what's the topic? Like, James Harden? James Harden, Harden and his or... BS he got going on in the NBA. Messing up preseason. How did he get so overweight? So fast? Like That man was in the club popping bottles. With little baby in there. I mean, it was it's a shortened season. Like, how did you gain so yeah, much Yeah, man, so you, you was in the hey, matter of fact, you was in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> and that man been at home drinking beers. Talking about he was in Atlanta training. What in the world was kinda, I doing? I think that's an indication that you he probably been wanting to be training. I think he did that because he came out of shape. Because he know if he come out of shape, what's going to happen? But see, that's the thing. I think he is not thinking it through. Because if he really want to get traded... Then show that you still James Harden and not like yeah. looking like you don't give you Man, know, look like no more. Kendra Perkins looking at me. <laughs> uh, James Perkins. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. I mean, I think he, um, I don't know. He still, his, he going to be the same player. He going to be the same player, but. He got to be motivated. Do you want James Harden? Yes, but do you want a unmotivated? But do you want James Harden? It depends on it depends on which James Harden show up to. I don't think I would want James Harden you even really? if he was even if he lost weight. I mean because he had his own team, he done had good teams, and he just and everybody left. But you got you can't deny the abilities that he can bring to your team and the ways he can open up an offense if he buys into a system. If <laughs> that, do you want to take that risk? Because then you want to trade all your good players. Or yeah, all your young it. core, the core part of your team, just for one the person. Sixers, I think that's not no Anthony Davis. I think the Sixers gambling too much right now. Well, according to Daryl Moore, he said, he "Ain't doing that shit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> they they called Daryl Moore, yeah. asked him, "Hey, yeah. do you want James Harden?" He said, "Fuck." <laughs> 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 we don't want no damn James Harden. I couldn't wait to get him over there. <laughs> That man said, hell Darryl no. Moore. Uh-uh. That, that for eight years. Nigga, I'm out of here. Daryl Moore. Yeah, Daryl Moore don't want that. He said, no, no, honey. Uh-uh. James Harden, man, he, like I said, and like, I, like I've been saying, he got to change his He got to change his game. He got to he yeah. gotta fit with a team. Team don't, don't need to fit with him. Yeah, that's true. He done had good players, and he done had di- different players in different positions. He done had CP3. He ain't the same as Westbrook. He's Westport. had very capable players. He done had the White House. His whole career. Yeah. His whole career. He need to be the James Harden he was when he played with the Thunder. He was more of a playmaker. He was, he was, he was both. He didn't need to score 40, 50 points. See, this James Harden, see, what we don't know is, this, we don't even know if James Harden really wanted to win the championship. We don't know if he really, he, we don't know that. I mean, it's hard to say what he want, but... I mean, I can't. I think if you look at his play, it might seem like he ain't bought into. My whole thing winning. is, James. They say James Harden had all this power over the team, like you know, they let him do anything, make all the decisions. But that's. But why point. you want? I know. But why you want to leave a team that you tried to? You, you know, you basically gave the okay of what players you wanted them to go get and stuff like that. They went and got some of the players maybe that you wanted, but now that they can't do it, do it no more. You couldn't make it happen with those players. Mm-hmm. So now you trying so, to blame the drink. Now you want to be gone. So it was not like they didn't follow you. Or, uh, yeah. That's a, that's another reason why you ain't no leader. <laughs> <laughs> There's another reason why you ain't no leader. See? 
No, you know I mean, I think, I think James Harden is, like, still super valuable to, to the, any team. I think. But he got to be bought he's into valuable, what they're trying he, to do. Yeah, he's valuable if. Because in OKC, he was bought into what they were trying to do. He was young, too. That's true. But, <clears> hey. He was young and playing for then, money. He can do it again. He was playing for money. Right now, he already got money. Yeah, that's true. He got the money. He now. already got what he, he wants. He got the money now. When you got the power, you can get. What else do you want? What else do yeah. you need? Yeah. So. But he carried himself like he want to be considered like one of the greatest or like the best. He want to be trying to get in them conversations. He yeah. Seen he, I think he want to be one of the best scorers because he know he ain't going to be the best player. He could, he could finish as one of the best players to ever do it. He one of the he, best offensive scorers to ever he, do it. I don't know. If he shows what, like that maturation in his game. Dang, I left my water. He he one of the best offensive players to ever do it. But to the best to ever do it, do it, do it, I don't think he doing it, doing it. He can't even I, I, I do feel like, you know, he one of the best offensive players in the game or to ever play the game. But the, the foolishness he got going on, it's cancerous for a locker room. So why would I want to trade my core and bring him in? We don't know. They gonna have he to had trade everything. The whole thing is he had everything with the Rockets. Things didn't didn't go right his way or how he like it, or, you know. And now look. So what's to say he won't do that to another team? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I'm gonna get like, rid bro. of my core. We already doing good. We we love each other. We you know this a brotherhood. Now we got to bring James Harden in. And he want to be able to run run the show. Yeah. See, I don't know. He should have stayed where he was at. I don't know. <clears throat> what he should have did was let them run the team. Be like, you know, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Nah, not really. But if you're gonna bring in players, you got to you got to uh you can't it can't just be about you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to conform too. Some everybody in order to be a team, everybody gotta give some, give some and take some. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You gotta give and take. You can't just be the only one that's, you know, taking all the time. Everything gotta be your way. <laughs> yeah. That's that's true. You know what I'm saying? Everything that can't be your way. And he wants <clears throat> a team that's going to let him be basically at the top of the key. Yeah, like you got – and then the players probably got tired of playing with you. Like, you made it all about you. It ain't just about you. You know? But, yeah. man, my he say is so far, he the Rockets need to hold on to – the Rockets need to hold on to him. But if they can get a good deal for him, I'll trade him. But it's just like the other teams want him. They want him, but, they, but they're a little skeptical. So, what would you do? They if you was a GM, would you trade him? Would well, you trade? Would you trade for him? Would I trade for him? No, because yeah. I would think right now James Harden is. I need to like see where he's at right now. Like he might be going through something. Like I don't know. I might get a James Harden and then have all this stuff to unpack. Like oh yeah, he. Actually, so if you was a team like the like the uh, the uh, Sixers, would you trade? Would you trade? No. What about the Nets? The Nets? No. What about the Hornets? The Hornets. I mean, they even have to trade the whole, <laughs> <laughs> the whole franchise. <laughs> trade all nah. them players. <laughs> Shoot. <clears throat> if I was the Hornets, being under Michael Jordan, uh, yeah. I'm, no, I'm saying if, if you was person, not if you was the GM, not if Jordan was, if it was your team. Oh, if you it trade? was my team, and Jordan, but Jordan's still involved with the organization. Like Man, if you was the GM, if this was my GM on 2K, would you trade for no. Jane Harden? Yeah, I mean, no, I wouldn't. I would believe in that young core because they got like four or five. They got a good core. They got some they young, players, too. Standout players. And they ain't paying them that much. If James Harden come with a whole lot of money you got to pay. Yeah, and then they just got LaMelo. I think they should just be patient. Because they might do something special this year. They would. They probably could. And if I was the GM of any team, I would not trade for James Harden. I would have to see how he's, how he's going to be able to jail with the guys that he has now. Even though he don't like the situation, how is he going to act? Because right now, he's throwing a temper tantrum, and I don't like that. So that's the end of, <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of this video, and we're going to be on to the next video. So, peace.